Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to do five simple experiments in five minutes. So, to start the first experiment, you'll need a glass of water and one orange that's not peeled and, the, and one that is peeled. Let's see what happens if I put this orange and throw this orange into the glass of water. Look, look, it sinked. Let's see what happens to this. Do you think it will sink or float? Let's see. Look, instead of sinking, it floated. Why is that? That's because the oranges peels are very light, and that means the orange has less density. Since, but why is it floating? Because this one has orange, and this one has an orange in it too. That's because the oranges peels support the orange to float. Let's do our second experiment. I have a bell and fire. Let's see what happens if I put um, this glass on the fire. The fire is still shining. Oh look, the fire went off. And look, the water's racing up. Why is that? Let's talk about why those things happen. First, why did the candle go off? That's because the candle needs air to glow, but this glass was blocking the air for co from coming in, so the candle didn't have any air to glow, so it, it just went off. Second reason, why did the water go rising up? That's because when I put this glass, there was air filled in the glass, and then the candle needed to glow, so it used that air for um, for it to go but when all the air was all done and the candle had no more air the water went um, there was no more air the water went rushing up so it could take the space of the air this is that third extra of today I have two eggs one egg that is boiled and the other egg that is not boiled. Let's see what happens if I spin what, both of the eggs and try to sp stop them. This one stopped. Let's see what happens to the other one. Look, it's still spinning even when I tried to stop it. So why did the boiled egg stop spinning when I tried to stop it, but the not boiled egg not stop when I tried to stop it? That's because this egg, when you boil it, the shell, it's all together. The egg white, the egg yellow, they're all together. So when I stop the shell, everything stops. But here, when you, when the egg is not boiled, the egg white and the egg yellow are, are apart from the shell. So, so when I stop the shell, the egg white and the egg yellow are still spinning. That's inertia so it's just like a car so when the car suddenly stops the people inside it still move so it's just like it the eggshell is the car and then the egg white and egg yellow could be the people So this is our fourth extra of the day. I have a balloon and some water flowing in the top. Let's see what happens. This is also static electricity that we did in our other video, but we're gonna do it again. So I'm gonna rub this balloon on my hair. I'm gonna rub it really good. And then I'm gonna put the balloon close to the water. So didn't you see that the water is moving toward the balloon? That's static electricity. 
So I have this tube. It has one mirror on the top and one mirror on the bottom. I have this strawberry. Let's see if you could see the strawberry in this mirror while I put it in the down mirror. Could you see the strawberry? Could you see the strawberry? Let's learn why you could see the strawberry. When the strawberry's light waves hit hit the mirror, the mirror um um the light the mirror sends the light waves up to the other mirror, and you could see the strawberry. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video about um, many stuff and also go check out the link to all my other videos because the experiments we did today, the five experiments we have already done in my other videos.